Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an email address for your domain name in DreamHost. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. I don't wanna waste any of your time. The first thing I'm gonna do is to go on the left-hand side. Once you're logged into your panel, your DreamHost panel is to go to Mail Manage Email. Now, in here, we basically, what we wanna do is click on Create a New Email Address and we just have to fill this out. So first pick your domain name. The domain we're gonna be working with today for me specifically is tonyflorida.me, but you pick your domain name from your list. The name of the email address, what do I want to have? Let's do tony at tonyflorida.me. Um, the login, so let's generate a new login. We're gonna call this mailbox Tony Florida. And for the password, I'm just gonna, I don't want them to pick a password, I'll pick a password for myself. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Um, Tony is teaching tech. Okay, that sounds good. Tony is teaching tech. All right, so for this um, limit total disk usage, they default it to 200 megabytes. Um, you don't have to do that, so just uncheck that, and you'll have unlimited um, to a certain point, to a certain extent, unlimited disk space for your email account. Um, just you can email, you can keep this checked or not. It doesn't really matter. Down here, they do have some limits. So um, this says remove red messages when inbox reaches 250 messages. So that sounds like a scary thing. The maximum they allow here is 2000. So if you want to max it out, you can click that in or type that in. Um, the next one is remove red messages from inbox older than 45 days is the default. This, I don't think there's a limit here. So you can like type in 99999 for that. So you don't ever lose those email messages. And then for everything else, um, you can pick whatever you want. I'm just going to leave the defaults here and down at the bottom here, click on create address up oh, and it does not like my password dreamhost is pretty strict about their passwords so um let me do what was i doing so tony let's do tony tony florida dollar percent and then tony florida dollar percent okay create that see if that one works and it does not it contains my username okay um let me do um just florida or florida dollar percent up carrot florida dollar percent up carrot hopefully third time's a charm and it's taking a little bit longer so yes it is so it says we have successfully successfully added tony florida dot me um, we can log in with this username, which is our email address. And it says it'll take a few minutes for this new address to become active, but let's go ahead and take our chances. Let's see if we can log in right away to our new inbox. So we can do that on the left-hand side, go to, if you're not already expanded, go to under mail, webmail. And that's going to bring up a list of all your webmail links. Uh, just find the domain name that you're working with. And for us, it's uh, webmail.tonyflorida.me. So click on that. It's going to open up a new page. We can type in our email address, which is tony at tonyflorida.me. And let's see if I can remember that password. It was Florida dollar percent up carrot. Click on login. And there is our brand new no email addresses or no, no email emails yet uh, inbox. And we can test this out, right? We can go ahead and send an email and see if we can receive email. So what I do have back here in the background is um, my Gmail account, which is operating under the name uh, Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com. So let's first send an email from DreamHost to that account. So how do we send an email? We can click on this pencil up here to compose a new email and we'll send it to Tony teaches tech at gmail.com subject just do something silly hey tony how are ya yacht how are ya and then we'll say uh just checking in on you checking in on you okay so we'll send that and over here um this should 
be pretty instantly and it does so we see our email come up here it is from our custom domain name tony at tony me to tony teaches tech at gmail.com uh, we'll go ahead and reply using this smart reply i'm good how about you so we'll send that back over to our dream host inbox and to help it along if you don't see it pop up right away there's this refresh button there it is you can click on refresh um it's a little bit slower than Gmail. There it is. So just like five or 10 seconds later, here is the email. Hey, Tony, how are you? I'm good. How about you? That's about it for this video. If you want to learn how to check your email, your dream host email with your custom domain name inside of your Gmail inbox, check out this video here. I have plenty of other videos on this channel about email in general, sending up different email addresses, all that stuff. So um, check those out as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.